Hello Capricorn, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, it is meant to be a general love reading, so we're not resonating with every Capricorn watching. Take what resonates to, for you, what applies to your situation. Okay, so let's jump right in for Capricorn. Angels, guides, messages for Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. What is Capricorn thinking or feeling? I'm sorry. What is Capricorn's person thinking or feeling about Capricorn or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn, Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? There's so much I wish I could do over again. We are soulmates. You have taught me so much. There's so much I wish I could do over again. You have taught me so much. Hmm. I feel like um, the energy that I picked up is almost like the way that you've behaved with this person. It has been a lesson to them in a good way. What else, Spirit? What else? messages guidance do you have regarding the Capricorn's person what is Capricorn's person thinking or feeling about Capricorn at this time what is Capricorn's person thinking or feeling about Capricorn at this time I keep seeing the wheel of fortune what are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn spirit what are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn. Well, we have the Page of Wands. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they, they um, over time, because time has passed here with Temperance and the Eight of Pentacles, I'm, I'm, the message I'm getting is a lot of time has passed, significant time here. Uh, I think that's why this person has learned, because over time, how do I say it? It's because of the length of time this person has had time to mature <laughs> could i say time anymore but you know what i mean right here we have the empress and the two of cups wow we are soulmates yeah we are soulmates these two energies here i feel like they view you as an empress um i see you wiser i see you mature i see you radiant capricorn um in the sense of like you you are something special male or female you are something very special. And it's almost like this person has learned from seeing you thrive. Very interesting. Let's see. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Devil, Capricorn, there you are. The Emperor, Aries Energy. Wow. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Let me move these over. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Maybe they're they're ready to match you here, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they they've grown and matured. Um, this is definitely not you know. Sometimes I get comments from you guys not just your sign specifically i mean every sign oh so and so is a narcissist so and so is you know terrible human being terrible person you know why would spirit want you to be with that person right they're not meant to be in your life so that you could be together they're meant to be a lesson right This is not a narcissist. I <laughs> just want to put it out there. Um, I'm not getting that energy. We'll see, but I'm not getting that energy. Um, 
I feel like this is someone that knows your worth or recognizes your worth and is trying to match you. And it could be that maybe in the past they were very immature and didn't match you in the least bit. But I feel like this is someone different here. The Emperor is, um, they like to, they're very wise, they've learned a lot, they're very, you know, they're, they tend to be older. Uh, the Emperor tends to be somebody that's very decisive, they make tough decisions, um, and they like things structured and ordered and organized, you know. They like to have their kingdom be peaceful, <laughs> and um, and and the, the, there's someone with authority. There's someone that you know, very, very, a lot of integrity with the emperor. They might not be the easiest to talk to because I don't. They're not a very emotional type of energy, but um, I can tell you the emperor is not somebody that, you know, would all of a sudden turn into a narcissist. Is kind of what I'm trying to say. The devil is here, and this is your energy, Capricorn. Um, the fact that it's with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. I feel like there's a burning desire and interest here. And it's you. you I feel like you are the centerpiece, the, 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 the important aspect here. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So once again, I, you know, this is someone that has grown and changed. Death card is a card about transformation. And the Eight of Cups is a card about a spiritual journey. It's someone that has walked away from what no longer serves them and it's on a path to find their fulfillment. So I feel like this is someone that's gone through some sort of change in their life. Let's see, tell me about Temperance. I love this card in this deck. It's just so cute. Move these over. Tell me about Temperance. Why is Temperance here? Nine of Pentacles. Why is Temperance here? Ten of Swords. Wow. Why is Temperance here? death. Wow. <laughs> Once again, a card about the death card shows up, a card about death, transformation, endings, change. Ten of Swords is a card about an ending. Then we have the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that after things ended between you, you were doing great. Nine of Pentacles. I see you thriving. And I think this is someone who's realizing that maybe they misread you. Maybe they, they misunderstood you. Because I see them watching you be successful. And I see them kind of like doing some serious reflecting, thinking. Very guarded energy here, almost like holding back. But, but I feel with this nine of, um, this four of Pentacles is like watching anyway. You know, it's almost like maybe they weren't doing so well. They were probably healing from difficult situations. They were probably, their finances were probably not the best. But they see you thrive and they're like, what is happening? If things ended, I feel like you... I don't know, it's almost like um, you were the mature one, something like that. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Swords, wow. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the King of Pentacles after that. 
I feel like this person had to learn this lesson the hard way. Yep, there's a tower. This person had to learn a lesson the hard way. Um, I feel like maybe at first they were selfish, didn't see things any other way. They were just thinking, you know, very self-serving. Um, maybe they, their ego was a problem. Maybe they hid certain things from you or weren't very open. Um, maybe they were dealing with certain conflicts in their life. And I think that, once again, this, this idea of a transition, of a change, of moving forward. You know, the Eight of Cups, the Death card, the Six of Swords. And then with the Two of Pentacles, I wonder what this is about. Let's see. I feel like this person had a lot going on. Juggling. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. There's the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like this person has been trying to catch up. <laughs> uh, this person has been, has been trying to catch up here. King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Maybe they're trying to um, earn your respect. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And once again, um, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. There's a maturity here, the Emperor, right? Even though we started with the Page of Wands, there's almost like a maturity here, like a, like a growth period. This person could have gone back to school, gotten a degree, gotten a better job, um, done some inner work. Because I feel like life hit them hard. And they had to find their balance again. They had to find their footing again. I think I just heard you make it look so easy. It's like they have a newfound respect for you, Capricorn. Tell me about this Ten of Swords and the Death card. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Death card. The King of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Death card, Spirit. There's a Ten of Swords and the Death card here. Three of Wands. Yeah, there was a, like a waiting period here for this to really happen, for them to become this King of Cups. They had to kind of like do some serious growing up. Let's get their energies or intentions. I feel like they've been watching you also, especially with this Three of Wands, you know, watching you thrive and it's almost like their respect for you deepens, their admiration for you deepens, because they make no mistake, this person admires you. Tell me about Capricorn's person's energies or intentions at this time, Spirit. What are their energies or intentions towards Capricorn or this connection? Secret admirer. What are their energies or intentions towards Capricorn? Wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union closed off interesting so you're not in contact with this person that's why they're watching you from afar one of you could already be in a commitment can i get one more for this person's energies or intentions towards capricorn inner voice oops listen to your let your intuition guide you towards the right path yeah there's difficult decision hidden motives and poetic poetic justice um Wow, okay, so what I'm getting is this person, you know, they have no choice but to watch you from afar. But as they've watched you, it's like their inner intuition has developed or their inner voice has been teaching them something. Teaching them to make difficult decisions. Um, now with hidden motives, I'm getting, you know, because Poetic Justice is right after it, I'm getting more like strategy. Like this is someone that is not letting you know what they want, possibly because when they show up, they want to be an actual, like, a good option for you. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading, uh, 
If you want to just say hello, then let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Also consider subscribing. If you want to see more videos from me, hit the like button and uh, the share button if you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for watching, for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.